Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Henrik, the Lawn Care Kid here, back with another video. And today we got an exciting video. I'm actually hanging out in Dayton, Ohio, actually just outside of Dayton, Ohio. We're hanging out here with Noah. What's up, Noah? What's up, how you doing, man? Good, good. Um, Noah, he's 17 years old. He's the owner of Noah's Lawn Maintenance. And dude, he's crushing it. I mean, I know we get a lot of young guys on the YouTube channel and this kid's no slouch. Um, he's got mowers, he's got trucks, trailers, so. Um, Noah, let's get the startup story and then um, let's check out all this equipment. So you're 17 years old. Um, you got all these trucks. Tell me, tell me where, where this business started. Um, how old are you? Just give me the, give me the background. Uh, I started when I was four or five with my dad. Just, I, he found me a snowblower and just loved working and stuff and bought me a little push mower and always been working on the farm next door and just Anything I've ever wanted, my parents haven't handed to me, and just always having to work for it. And I've always wanted something to go big, and I've built what I have today, and um, just been grinding. Um, all pays off in the end if you put the hours in, and it's totally worth it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I'm kind of in the, I guess all these young kids with all this equipment and stuff, we're all in the same boat. Like, our parents aren't handing us stuff. I mean, most of our parents aren't. Um, and you know, there's a few kids out there running brand new trucks and stuff. I mean, if they did it on their own, good for them. But I know Noah sure didn't get any help. He's all on his own here. Um, and dude, look at all these trucks. We get, what is this? Duramax. Duramax. We got a pretty much a brand new power stroke over there. Um, you want to show us the equipment? Yeah. So, uh, first truck I bought 2005 LOI Duramax, um, things been through heck. Um, I got the dump bed in, just picked that up a couple weeks ago. Very nice. Um, rocking the Echo VP9010. Got a steel, um, older, um, I need to invest in some new ones. Yeah, um, I gotcha. I got a 36, uh, standard B right. And then I picked up this ZK61 uh, new this spring. Um, loving it. Holds hills great and stuff. Um, picked up this trailer over the winter. I did have an enclosed last year for mowing. Um, it's been great. Um, yeah. Um, back to, you know, the trailer uh, topic. Uh, you said you had an enclosed. Why'd you switch from an enclosed to a, to an open trailer? Is there any reason for that? Um, just, I've always been on an open. Um, I like the enclosed. I like both of them. I might go back to enclosed next year. I gotcha. Um, I like, you can just grab the stuff. And in the summer when it's hot out, your mowers aren't hot because in the trailer and stuff. And I've been fortunate enough with this place at my grandma's. Um, I've been able to just back in every night. And some people with the, with an enclosed, you don't have to worry about theft and stuff. But I've been pretty fortunate enough. Yeah, you're out here in the country. Looks yeah. like uh, theft shouldn't be an issue, but yeah. you never yeah, really know. Very nice, very nice. Um, got the dump trailer, older dump trailer. Uh, still gets the job done on a couple different set of axles now because I've overloaded it. <laughs> and then an older equipment trailer, but still haul skids here, dingo and stuff. I gotcha. Can we walk over there and yeah. check them out? Yeah. Bought this from the neighbor years ago and then found this on Marketplace. And then very nice. Uh, mulch bin. So it's pretty nice having my mulch. 24 7 okay yeah that's so, super that's super unique especially for uh you know a kid your age usually you don't see a mulch bin on site um yeah why, why'd you get a mulch bin on site just just wondering uh, i next door or a couple just a couple minutes down the road there's a big place and they went like 45 for a yard and guy like 25 minutes away selling it cheap and uh he's not open all the time i'm like my buddies can come get mulch and it's just nice having it you can overload the trailer so if you know you might be close on what you quoted the job for, um, take a little bit extra with you so you don't have to make another trip back. Yeah, and if you have extra, you just yeah, dump just, it back here. Yep. Awesome. Yep. That's that's super sweet. Maybe I'll look into getting, yeah, I'll getting one get of those. Yeah, we'll some poles and, and then put some other poles on the ground and put some wood down. And it's worked out great. That's sweet. But, sweet, sweet. Um, you want to show us this dump bed here? Is this is this a new purchase? or? Um, I bought this just a couple weeks ago. Okay. Um, it literally just slides in. I have it ratchet strapped down, uh, put it on some wood, and then I just run one battery cable up to the um, uh, battery 
you know, press a button, it'll go up. I don't have it hardwired in or anything. Yeah. Um, but that's sweet. Um, how, how do you like it? What, what do you put in there? Mulch, debris, uh, debris, debris and stuff. My buddy has one and, um, take it, be able to, and it's like springtime and with fall leaf cleanups coming out one city, they do take away, but the other city doesn't. So instead of blowing leaves out every night, just be able to press a button and the leaves will go out. I got you. Well, that's a pretty sweet setup. And then, um, I see you got this new purchase over here yeah. you got a few months ago. Yeah. Um, obviously, people like their trucks. Tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, it's a 2015 F-350 Platy, um, Platinum. Um, love this thing. I haven't used it much for work since I have the single cab. Um, just working every day out of it. But needed a personal truck. A single cab's not really ideal for taking friends around and stuff. Yeah, I got gotcha. on long road trips. And then got the enclosed. I do a lot of drag racing. Okay. Um, Tell us a little bit about racing. that. Um, stretched out drag quads and stuff. Um, gets pretty uh, eventful. Traveling far away, get done mowing at three, four o'clock, hop in the truck, rush hour, and drive a couple hours, go race, make a few extra bucks maybe. Okay. And you make good money doing that? Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. Um, is there anything in there? Or no. Nothing too not, exciting. No, nothing right now. It's okay. The, I got gotcha. you. Um, and then. So, do you basically do only lawn care? Do you do other stuff? I know you do mulch. Um, give us kind of, cover your services real quick, just so people know what you're doing. Um, so, right now, I'm this is my senior year. I'm down at the local I'm a Warren County Career Center for heavy equipment. Looking to purchase a skid steer by uh, winter time, so maybe I can get into that. Some extra work I plow with this truck. Um, got a Boss V plow. Um, but looking... I do aeration. I mean, I do excavation, drainage, patios. I've done a lot, a lot of concrete this year. Okay. Um, made a, didn't realize how much money was in concrete. So, yeah, you said you do a lot of concrete. Um, tell us just a little bit about that concrete. Yeah, my dad, um, years back, we had done a few little small patios and stuff. And then a friend of ours last year asked to do a patio. And it's like, might as well offer that as a new service. And you got these big companies that want outrageous money because they have so many jobs to do. So I don't underbid them, but still do top quality work or better than they would. And um, uh, I've really enjoyed it. Um, easy money, show up in the morning, tear it out, form it up, and pour in the afternoon. And um, uh, it's been pretty nice. I gotcha, yeah, that's sweet. Um, so do you see yourself going more of that route or do you think you're gonna stay uh, lawn care landscaping? What do you think? I really just wanna be able to mow one, two days a week and then uh get more into the i've done a lot of drainage this year and stuff do more of the not heavy equipment but uh more like bigger jobs i gotcha um very nice very nice um so you said you plow with this is the plow somewhere in here yeah, so um over there. just so we can go check it yeah. out i know people like like their equipment yeah i just picked this plow up just a couple weeks ago i had a straight blade straight blade last year uh with wings on it picked up this v plow um hopefully it has a set of homemade wings but it'll still get the job done i might pick up a, another plow just as a spare i got gotcha. you um, and then my dad has a heinecker c plow that does all my residentials so he's able to just pull in and it goes in a c and drop it and back drag it here in and out um yeah so you said your dad does your residentials how does that work does he have his own business um do you sub it out like, tell us tell us a little bit about that no i just I, I've always done it on my own. He's always been there, like, on a – when I wasn't at the – you know, we get out of school early, he'd hop on a mower with me after he got off work. I just pay him hourly, and I'm uh, – I just usually – I don't give him all the money for doing my residentials. I don't really enjoy the smaller ones. Yeah. They're just shoveling and stuff, but I usually just sub them all out to him because it's just easier. I like the big commercials and stuff. Okay. Yeah, that's sweet. Um, And then I noticed there's some other mowers behind you. Yeah. Are these yours? Um, no, what this is – my uh, buddy set up. Okay. Um, this place to store stuff. Okay, it's nice. nice to have this overhang. Yeah. So what? What does he just park here for free? Yeah. Or I uh, know charge for rent. Okay. Him, perfect. So, so you're making money off your yeah. buddies. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I like to yeah. hear. I did have another buddy in here this year, but he got his own place. Very nice. Yeah. This this overhang here is nice. You just back yeah. it in, and yeah. all stays covered. Yep. Um, is there anything else you want to show us? Maybe go inside the shop and look at the drag bikes and stuff. Okay, yeah, let's check that All out. All right, so now we're on the other side of the barn. Um, Noah's got some 
cool toys here. Um, he does racing as a hobby, so he's going to show us what he races. Um, but Noah, before we cover all the cool stuff in this barn, um, how many mowing accounts do you have? And you, you said you mow one to three days a week. Do you mow m more than that? Just give us the rundown there. Um, so in the summer, hammer down 10, 12 hour days, got lights in the mower and stuff. Um, start early in the morning, get down late at night. Try to hammer down, usually have one guy with me, um, get my own stuff done. Mow about 50 residentials and then a decent amount of commercials or bigger properties like this out here. Um, and then go help um, as, many, as many buddies as I can uh, okay. help mow. If I don't have, it's not the spring rush or once I'm slowed down a little bit for extra income or go out and knock out a bunch of mulch jobs and stuff or different patios or concrete jobs and stuff. I gotcha. So, so what does an average week look up? look like for you do you start mowing and then you Mon do landscaping jobs just, just give us the rundown real quick monday start out um monday tuesday and hopefully be done by afternoon by wednesday or um uh, if i have a big week i'll start on sunday okay and i'm uh hammer down there and, you go uh, just trying to bank as much money as i can while i'm young here yep yeah to buy buy the cool stuff yeah, right yeah trucks and toys so yeah. um you said you do racing as a hobby um we got two stripped down quads here. You want to give us, um, give us the rundown. And show yeah. show us what you got. Custom full on chassis, chrome alloy chassis, light, um, full built Banshee motor, about 110 horsepower, 120 horsepower. Dang! So this thing has 110 horsepower. Yeah, have a long wheelie bar for it, um, and then drag 660 Raptor. It's on a stock frame, but obviously it's all cut up yep. to make it lighter, and. Uh, pushing about 70 horsepower on this and uh they're fun something um go out and do and have fun with my buddies and stuff yeah very nice so um these things look pretty fast how, how fast does one of these here run um in 200 feet i race a lot of 200 feet um around in the locally at the fairs and stuff or surrounding states and stuff been low threes on that 200 feet about a 80 mile an hour and then 500 feet we're rolling 110 plus an hour. Um, Dang, that thing pretty, is quick. That yeah, it's pretty scary stopping with just one brake, but got to have every pound off the bike we can. Yeah, um, but I'm, yeah, sure, I'm sure that gets the adrenaline pumping. Yeah, and then I do a lot of firewood. Got the log splitter in here. Did a little tune up on that for going into the fall. Did a lot of firewood. Okay. Yeah. Do you do you sell like per face cord or how, do, how yeah, does that work? Yeah, a cord or dump trailer load. Okay. Um, I've had good luck with that. Tree, local tree guy I got, buddy of mine, he's glad to give me the wood. And it's there you it's go. It's not easy money, but it's still easy money. Yeah, it's money. But yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Totally. Very yeah. nice. Um, Anything else you want to show us around the shop? Anything else? Uh, got a LTR 450 over here. Bought it blown up, putting it back together. Do okay. a lot of flipping, making extra money. Yeah, so you do a lot of marketplace flips? A lot of marketplace there flips. There you go. This, this is my guy. We, uh, we both do a lot of marketplace flips. I'm always buying and selling stuff. Um, I think it's fun because you can buy something, use it, and then sell it for the same price or even more sometimes. Um, yeah, like this spring, I went up to um, uh, or over to Indiana, picked up a jet ski, rode it for a couple months, and sold it for more money. There you go. That I had made even plus money off of fuel and stuff going to get it. And I've flipped 10 or 13 enclosed trailers in the past year. Really? So the enclosed trailers... Um, tell us a little bit about that. Why, why are you flipping enclosed trailers? How does, how are you making money off those? Just the late night on marketplace, <laughs> finding the good deal. I mean, it might be a couple hours away, but hopping in the truck with a buddy. And yeah. It's, I've been fortunate enough to have extra cash because you can tell a person you can come the next morning. There you go. And they're usually okay with that and you can get a good deal usually. Very nice. All right. Well, awesome, Noah. I super appreciate you letting me, um, stop by. We were actually, uh, driving through Dayton, Ohio, actually, uh, Bought something new there. Bought a new trailer. Speaking of enclosed trailers, and uh, no, it was just off the interstate. So we stopped by. He showed me his shop. Super cool. Super cool kid. He's definitely got it going on. Um, Noah, where can people follow you? Can they follow you on Instagram? Instagram, um, Facebook, uh, dot Snapchat. Okay. Yeah. Um, so uh, TikTok. I got you. What's your uh, What's your Instagram? Uh, Noah's Law Maintenance. Okay. Um, yeah. yeah. Facebook, same thing? Yep, Facebook, all right, same thing. All right, yeah, so look up Nose Law Maintenance and search for the cool equipment on the page and make sure to give them a follow. Um, 
yeah, I think that's all I got for you guys today. I super appreciate um, you guys watching the video. I appreciate no Noah problem. hanging out, and I'll see you guys in the next one.